Hey, how's it going, everybody? John, Small Kind Landscaping. It's been a while since I've made a video um, on anything, actually, but uh, I finally got a chance to use the new Echo DPB 5800T. <clears throat> They're uh, E-Force 58 volt uh, battery backpack blower. <clears throat> see here I got the blower it's got spaces for uh, three batteries I only have uh, two five amp hour batteries uh, that's what the blower comes with as a kit it's uh, two five amp hour batteries a blower and a dual rapid charger which is pretty cool <clears throat> I uh, been using this blower all week uh, it's a demo from our local Echo store here, uh, all tool repair. Tony and Josh down there, uh, hit them up if you guys need some equipment or your equipment repair. But yeah, so there it is. It's a nice unit. It's fairly quiet, um, I'd say. Um, I used it today for an extended period of time trying to get a run uh run time uh today at this uh, account that i have uh this account here i do a lot of parking lot clean up there's um, a bunch of trees that drop leaves and i do this account once a week so i normally would have my gas blower um uh, and with the gas blower Anywhere from 45 minutes, I'd say maybe to almost an hour, doing a clean up from the back of the building, blowing all the leaves out into the parking lot, through the parking lot, and then blowing them off to the side uh, where they can get um, recycled and turned into mulch. Um, <clears throat> it's been a little dry here lately, so there's uh, quite a bit of leaves falling down. And I brought the Echo, the 5800T. Backpack blower with me today, and that's all I brought. I was like, hey, you know, advertised runtime with two five amp hour batteries. I'd say it was somewhere in the 40 minute range or something like that uh, at full throttle. And when I say full throttle, that is not including the turbo mode. <clears throat> uh, so I, I gave it a shot. The batteries were both full uh, when I started. I did my mowing first and my edging, my weed whacking. And I did the normal routine, do all the rubbish out, you know, off the pathways, off of everywhere. And it just went from there. So I got the entire parking lot cleaned. And I still had one bar of battery left. So when I say one bar of battery, if you look up top, there's two batteries with four bars each. And on the throttle control, I'll give it a couple clicks you'll see it's got two bars right now this is the total battery for both batteries so I'm going to click on the battery here it's got two bars and it's got two bars Can't see that one so if I had three batteries in there it used the power equally across the bandwidth of the three batteries but for testing purposes it's got two batteries I was pretty impressed. Um, it did do the job. I was a little worried at the end that I'd run out of juice, but I didn't. Um, total runtime was about 32 minutes, and that's on the throttle and off. You know, you're not constantly blowing, even though you're trying to clear like a lot or something like that. Um, but like, you know, moving around, you don't have to be on the throttle. You can be off, reposition. So it took about 30 minutes or so to clear the lot <clears throat> and get it all clean and then i took the batteries out and i threw them on the charger um i did some cutting other where you know uh, elsewhere came back both batteries were charged already and it wasn't even an hour i'm um, not too sure exactly how long it took because i left them on the charger i did my cuttings went back to check on them and they were fully charged um i did do cutting with my hedge trimmer and that's when I used the turbo mode. Um, 
trying to move that heavier debris get it out of the way uh, i'm gonna say turbo mode does uh eat through battery a lot faster as expected and battery powered anything drills saws power equipment for outdoor doesn't like to be full power all the time it'll drop battery real fast um i did notice when i first started using the unit and i was on the trigger it lit up all four bars and not even a couple minutes into blowing it dropped down to three bars um you know i was like oh boy that's kind of quick but after running the unit for a while it stayed at three bars and it dropped to two and when you're on and off the trigger it go back up to three then it dropped down to two and it kind of sat at that two bar mark for quite some time while i was using it and that was pretty cool i mean i figured if i had another battery in there it might stay fully charged longer but it did do the job um i would say this blower is perfect if you're going to be doing like mowing blows or um, you know like smaller accounts where you're not constantly on the blower doing like parking lot cleans and stuff like that but it does work um, I will be purchasing one in a maybe a month or two um, because I have a, a bunch of houses that I do that are smaller um, and it doesn't require you to be on that blower for an extended period of time. You know, there's a few houses I do herbicide spraying and then mow the lawn, weed whack, then there's grass clippings and there's leaves from like neighbors' trees and stuff. Which total blow time you're looking at like maybe maybe five to seven minutes. You know, that's with two batteries as it comes that's a lot um you know even if you did decide to go with the battery unit for larger like cleanups and so forth or parking lot cleans you could also add another battery five amp hour or echo does have an eight hour uh, eight amp hour battery available um they are a bit pricey but i'm not too sure you know for some people some companies it's probably going to be worth it um, for me personally I do landscaping part-time so it's my part-time job outside of working my regular nine to five or whatever you want to call it so for me the eight amp hour is not feasible uh, money wise but when I do get the echo uh, backpack blower I will get the third five amp hour battery and of course that'll extend my runtime um, and then I probably use it for this account that I'm at right now all the time and you just charge them up another thing you could do with all this solar technology and all that or generator up to you what you'd want to do um, I'd probably get a trailer with a solar panel like a enclosed trailer and some batteries because it doesn't take much to charge these i mean maybe half an hour i'm not exactly sure on that exactly uh how long it took but you know three batteries in there maybe an extra one or so in between jobs you can charge it up um not too bad at all but yeah so i'm up here in the top lot there's not much really just some leaves on the ground um, so we can get some footage uh, clearing these leaves. <clears throat> so let me get this thing on, and I will uh, show you some blowing. <clears throat> Alrighty, we got it on. First click. Turns it on. So we're gonna just blow in normal mode. Trigger on. Not in turbo mode. Just regular. Mm 
As you can see, it's dropped down one bar. It'll let go of the trigger, give it a little rest. Sometimes it pops back up to two, like that. And then you go again. You don't have to stop. I mean, it's good to give them a rest sometimes, I believe. But, you know, this is just cleaning up. Normal cleaning, pretty quiet. Not too sure how the sound is on the camera side of things. Let's try that turbo mode. So to activate turbo, you'll be on the trigger and then turbo. Click on, boom. And you got all that power. Look at that. Yeah. Like I said, turbo mode does blow through batteries a little quicker, or a lot quicker. But it's there if you need it. You let go of the trigger and it's back to normal mode, which is my opinion. You know, that's a decent amount of power, still yet. <clears throat> a lot of people would rather just move the leaves quicker, burn through the battery, but you know, all depending. Time is money when it comes to landscaping, so I can understand people wanting to be on that turbo mode. <clears throat> and you know, you probably could. You get some extra batteries, some 8 amp hours, or you know, not do parking lot cleans totally up to you <clears throat> right, we're just blowing around just to show you the power again turbo mode turbo off So yeah, looking at it, still got that one bar in both batteries, so it's not bad. So yeah, in my opinion, this backpack blower is pretty cool, it's pretty neat. I have tried one other <laughs> unit before, backpack battery blower. It was the Eagle, the older style Eagle blower. <clears throat> that one there was the single battery uh, unit it was pretty cool as well um that one there had the engine mounted the motor mounted on the tube itself um it was a pretty good unit um they redesigned it now there's one with the double batteries um but for me because i'm all echo units i mean not sponsored or anything by them but I do like the Echo brand um, it's affordable per se um, and for me it does the job uh, just as well as any other brand Husqvarna steel um, but yeah uh, my opinion personal opinion on this uh, let's see right here I like it, you know, pros, it's quiet, you don't got to worry about gasoline, it uh, does the job, you know, it's cleared out that path, it dropped maybe a bar, used it on turbo quite hard, you know, before that, <clears throat> I like it, a lot, um, only any downside I see to this unit and this is just probably a me thing, but <clears throat> these indicator lights here are extremely bright when it's dark. Some of you be like, oh, wow, why are you blowing in the dark? Well, the count that I take care of here, <clears throat> uh, the type of work that they do, rather it be quiet in the daytime while they're open for operation. And... Um, even though this unit is very quiet, I'd rather not be there 
making dust and noise and all that while they are doing their thing. So I'm here before the sun comes up. <clears throat> and when you're blowing that lights stay lit up and they're pretty darn bright, but that's probably just a me thing. Um, one other downside, only other downside that I can really see on this unit <clears throat> is this uh, elbow here, it swivels up and down. It's kind of useful in certain situations where you need to tuck that tube way back towards you and you know get that blower close to you say like if you're on a ledge trying to blow and stuff like that um, but to me you know all my other gas blowers they have a rigid tube out of them into your flex tube here and the flex tubing is you know really where you get your range of articulation um, this flex tube is a little on the stiff side, which doesn't bother me any, but with that uh, tube up top articulating, it does seem to me to fatigue your arm a little more because now it's making the tube feel a lot heavier because it's not supporting it as much. You're over there holding it up with your hand. <clears throat> but then again, you know, it's not... A major issue like I say especially if you're going to do a mow and a blow a quick clean up here and there um, it's awesome you know like I said I'm gonna get one with uh, three batteries and you know I'm gonna use it and I'll probably do another video once I do have those three batteries with a little more runtime on uh, and deal like that but yeah so that yeah, as you can see we went through maybe a bar of battery just to clean that up. Didn't really blow it that awesome. You know, I just kind of went through just to show you that it, it does blow. <clears throat> but yeah, that's it for you guys right there. The new Echo backpack blower. Been waiting for this one for quite some time. DPB5800T. Precious motor. Well, yep. Hopefully this video was uh, helpful for you guys. I'll get a little more um, runtime on it. I've got another two or three houses I got to do. I'm going to go charge up the batteries. I'll let you know, you know exactly how much battery it used when I'm done with my mow and blow. And I have a one hedges house that I got to do. And uh, yeah, have a good one everybody.